Think back to those days when black and white television sets dominated living rooms, and the world was just beginning to unravel the magic of the silver screen. Among the icons that graced those screens was a name that would go on to carve a special place in the annals of entertainment history. Rita Morno, a name that, for many, conjures a vivid reel of memories, be it her spirited performances, her timeless charm, or the way she effortlessly breathed life into her characters. It's a name that, no doubt, brings back echoes of childhood or those cozy family evenings when the TV became a window to the world. Fast forward to today, and Rita Morno still manages to capture our attention, her legacy continuing to cast its enchanting spell. But what do you truly know about this multifaceted personality beyond the roles she portrayed? Prepare to be surprised by some lesser-known tidbits that add a whole new layer to your perception of Rita Morno. From her early struggles to her groundbreaking achievements, from moments of vulnerability to instances of strength, these random facts will paint a more intricate portrait of the woman who has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. So, let's delve into these intriguing revelations, shall we? Get ready to rediscover Rita Morno, a name that might have already brought a smile to your face, from an angle you might not have explored before. And now, without further ado, here's the curtain call on some captivating insights about the one and only Rita Morno. Rita Morno, the iconic actress known for her remarkable career, has left an indelible mark on Hollywood. On a momentous day, when her star graced the revered Hollywood Walk of Fame, an emotional outpouring took center stage. As the luminous emblem of her achievement was unveiled, Morno's emotions overtook her, causing her to fall upon it in a torrent of tears. Through tearful eyes, she exclaimed, I had been dreaming of this day since I was six. A poignant reminder of the enduring power of dreams fulfilled. Yet, that was far from the only recognition Morno received. On August 10, 2019, she took her well-deserved place in the spotlight during the Turner Classic Movies Summer Under the Stars event. A celebration of her cinematic contributions, this day served as a testament to her enduring talent and the impact she had on the silver screen. The pinnacle of her recognition came in June 2004, when she was bestowed with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by then-President George W. Bush. This distinguished honor, the highest civilian award in the United States, underscored Morno's immense influence not only in the entertainment realm but also as a cultural trailblazer. Rita Morno's journey is one of resilience, artistry, and breaking barriers. From the Hollywood Walk of Fame to the esteemed Presidential Medal of Freedom, her legacy remains an inspiration for aspiring artists and a testament to the enduring spirit of achievement. Rita Morno, pioneering Hispanic talent in Hollywood Rita Morno, an iconic figure in the entertainment industry, etched her name into history as the first Hispanic woman to secure an Oscar, a feat achieved with her remarkable performance in West Side Story. However, her groundbreaking accomplishment came with an interesting twist. While Morno claimed the honor for leading ladies, it was fellow Puerto Rican Jose Ferrer who first broke the barrier for Hispanic entertainers with his Oscar win in 1950 for Serrano de Bergerac. Beyond her Academy Award, Morno's contributions to the arts have been celebrated on various platforms. In 2010, her exceptional journey was recognized on a national stage when she received the American National Medal of the Arts. The prestigious award was presented to her by the White House in a ceremony on February 25, 2010, honoring her indelible impact on the arts. But accolades weren't the only tributes that adorned Morno's career. On July 20, 2005, her name was immortalized on the Hollywood Walk of Fame a nod to her enduring legacy in the heart of the entertainment capital. Rita Morno's story is one of talent, trailblazing, and tenacity. While not the first Hispanic entertainer to hold an Oscar, her victory marked a milestone for Hispanic women in the industry, inspiring generations to come. From her groundbreaking win to the recognition of her contributions to the arts, Morno's journey remains a testament to the power of diversity and perseverance in Hollywood. Rita Morno, a remarkable talent in the world of entertainment, has etched her name in history as one of the 15 actresses to achieve the coveted triple crown of acting. With an illustrious career spanning decades, Morno's prowess in acting, singing, and dancing has left an indelible mark on the industry. Her journey to stardom was nothing short of extraordinary. Born in Puerto Rico, Morno's family moved to New York when she was young. 
It was in the bustling streets of the city that her remarkable journey began. Morneau's dedication to her craft led her to become one of the few actresses to win an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony Award, a feat accomplished by only a select few. But it was her early years that set the stage for her remarkable career. As a child, Morno's talent for dance was undeniable. At the age of nine, she found herself dancing professionally in a Greenwich Village nightclub. This opportunity, arranged by none other than her dance teacher, who happened to be Rita Hayworth's uncle, was a glimpse into the star she would become. Throughout her career, Morno's versatility shone brightly. From her unforgettable role in West Side Story, which earned her an Oscar, to her captivating performances on the Broadway stage, she proved time and again her ability to transform into any character with finesse. Rita Morno's legacy extends beyond her accolades. She has been a trailblazer for diversity in the entertainment industry, breaking down barriers and opening doors for future generations of artists. Her journey is a testament to the power of talent, perseverance, and the unwavering desire to make a difference. In a world where few achieve such distinction, Rita Morno stands as a true icon. Her contributions to film, television, and theater have left an indelible mark, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their dreams with passion and determination. As we reflect on her remarkable achievements, we celebrate a woman whose name will forever be synonymous with excellence in the world of entertainment. Rita Morno, a luminary of stage and screen, holds a distinguished position among the rarefied few known as EGOTs. The term, a portmanteau of Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, designates those who've clinched these four premier entertainment awards. A league populated by esteemed names, Rogers, Hayes, Lopez, and others, but Morno's narrative stands unique. She once held the record for the quickest accumulation of these accolades. A mere 16 years encompassed her triumphs, a remarkable feat. The Oscar found her in 1962, followed by the Grammy in 1972, the Tony in 1975, and a pair of Emmys commencing in 1977. Her versatile talent spanned mediums, yet her pace was eclipsed by Robert Lopez in 2014, wrapping his EGOT in a succinct 10 years. Morno's legacy extends beyond the stage and awards. Her poignant role as Anita in West Side Story resonates deeply, a portrayal that stirred echoes of her own life. A crucial scene where she confronted the harrowing specter of abuse triggered long buried memories. Amidst her tears, fellow actors rallied, their camaraderie propelling her through the heartrending moment, fundamental to the story's arc. Beyond the spotlight, Morno's late husband, Dr. Leonard Gordon, wielded the world of medicine. Their union bore fruit with Fernanda Luisa Gordon, delivered through an emergency cesarean. Fernanda forged her own path as a jewelry designer, establishing Nanda's design. Her journey expanded into family, with David Fisher by her side, two sons in tow, Justin, born in 2002, and Cameron, in 2004. In the constellation of luminaries, Morno's star shines resplendent. An embodiment of versatility, a testament to triumph over tribulation, she claims her rightful place among the cherished EGOTs. Rita Morno, last surviving star of singing in the rain cast Rita Morno, the acclaimed actress and performer, holds a unique place in Hollywood history. Following the unfortunate passing of Debbie Reynolds in December 2016, Morno now stands as the sole surviving main cast member from the iconic film Singin' in the Rain. This musical masterpiece, directed by Gene Kelly and Stanley Donen, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Morno's presence in the film, alongside luminaries like Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor, is a testament to her enduring talent and legacy. Beyond her cinematic accomplishments, Morno's memoirs offer a glimpse into her remarkable life experiences. In the 1950s, Morno found herself at the center of attention when then-Senator John F. Kennedy openly flirted with her, despite being accompanied by his wife. The era's societal norms and political dynamics add layers of intrigue to this encounter. In a surprising revelation, Morno also expressed her feelings of disillusionment regarding her one-time lover, Elvis Presley. Contrary to the public image of the rock and roll heartthrob, Morno described Presley as more of a baby brother than the stereotypical stud he was perceived to be. Furthermore, Morno's impact extended to the realm of television. 
During the inaugural season of The Electric Company in 1971, she participated in a sketch that birthed an iconic catchphrase. Her spirited exclamation of, hey, you guys, resonated so deeply with both the audience and the show's producers that it became the opening catchphrase starting from the second season. Morneau's ability to infuse a simple line with her trademark energy showcases her versatility as an entertainer. As a trailblazer and an artist, Rita Morneau's journey through the entertainment world has left an indelible mark. From her status as the last surviving singin' in the Rain cast member to her personal anecdotes that provide a glimpse into the glamour and complexity of Hollywood's golden era, Morneau's life story remains as captivating as the performances that have made her a true icon. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the remarkable life and career of Rita Morneau, I invite you to pause and reflect on the indelible mark she has left on the world of entertainment. It's a journey that spans decades, genres, and emotions, and perhaps you, too, have been touched by her incredible talent. Rita Morneau's performances have resonated with countless souls, inspiring laughter, tears, and a deep connection with the characters she's brought to life. From her iconic role as Anita in West Side Story to her witty and charming presence on the small screen, Rita's versatility as an actress has been nothing short of breathtaking. Have you ever found yourself transported to a different time or place by her compelling portrayals? Have her characters ever spoken to your own experiences, hopes, or dreams? Now is the time to let those memories and thoughts flow. In the quiet of this moment, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or reflections on Rita Morno's performances. Let your words become a tribute to her enduring legacy and a celebration of the emotional connections she has forged with audiences around the world. As we close the final chapter of our exploration, I extend heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest in the life and work of Rita Morno. She has illuminated the world of entertainment with her talent, dedication, and charisma, leaving an indomitable impact that will continue to inspire generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and artistry of Rita Morno. Your voice, your memories, and your appreciation add to the rich tapestry of her influence on the world stage.